Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Spectral Island. Your host was not the most, Mr. Blue aka Tommy Miller. Folks, how y'all doing? Oh, I'm doing this good. I'm doing this good. Uh, oh, I don't forget what I was going to say. We are doing sugar beets in field 16. I hope y'all can hear me alright. How was the last video? Was it alright? I haven't changed nothing since the last video to this video except for putting a sock over the microphone. So I don't know if, uh, if it's called a sock, but it's uh, a red cushion for uh, a mic. I just put it over this and it's really too small for the microphone. Uh, it ripped it a little bit, but it worked. Alright, we're going to see if this guy does okay. If he misses some this time, I'm just going to let him miss it. <laughs> it's hard to find good heifers. You're probably like, Mr. Blue, why ain't you doing your stuff? Where's your stuff at? You got your potatoes harvested? No, folks, I have not. Why are you doing that? Every time I hire a worker, it pops up like that. Um, back this way. This one. This one I want to eat. He's got to go to root crop. Start motor. There we go. Come on. Oh, no, don't need that. I need this on root crop. Root crop. Oh, right there. Right there's where I need it. Z make a right, be alright. Get it? Make a right, be alright. And he's alright. Where he is going. Oh, we got to complete these. We got to finalize on field 9. Field 10. Field 11. Field 12. Field 14. And field 17. I got a truck going to the gold mine. To pick up this one. And then when on his way back through. He's going to stop at bakery pick up. Then we're going to go port side. Then transport company. I love it when it falls like that. Field 13 is 19%. Field 15 is 13%. Field 16 is 93%. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Am I going the right way? Yep, here we go. This guy probably is going to need unloading by now. Um, okay, he's coming down this way. So, um, I did get all the fertilizers done. Um, uh, post the rain. Oh, I gotta turn him around. He's going the wrong way. Stop here by this bush. Let me run to this ladder. Don't do this home, folks. It's dangerous running. I actually done that with a combine once. And... Yeah, my cousin laughed like crazy. Muff Daddy, or Muff, and Larry, he, uh, <laughs> he like, uh, you're not going to do it. I got on fine. Well, no problem getting on. Getting off, uh, he was on 3.2 mile an hour, cutting, uh, what was he cutting? I think it was soybeans. Oh, no, 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 no. Got to change that. Uh, this to right, and then hit A. Our worker, yes. Yes, yes. <coughs> A little dusty. But I climbed up on top of the combine, and went and talked to him for a while. Oh, you would stop there. And then, uh, 
you know, I took some pictures. Probably about 30 to 45 minutes later, got off the combine. I got down. I was on the last step. I kind of turned myself around on that last step there and then stepped off. And when I stepped off, I landed on a dirt quad. No, I didn't trip. I landed on a dirt quad. I rode my ankle a little bit. And I'm just like, you know, I got to get out of the way real quick. I do have this truck here set a little bit higher as you can see capacity is number six which is 354,000 liters. Why I gotta set that high for? Oh well. We're gonna let them do his thing and we gotta do our thing now folks. Uh, still nobody back here. That's kind of good because we ain't got our potatoes out of the ground yet. All of them's been mowed. Uh, I got this thing to work. No problem. Let's uh, pipe in. We gotta get a truck down here. This thing just picks up potatoes. That's all it does, folks. It does not rip them out of the ground. Oh, he reached the root crop. So, and as you can see right there too, you probably see like a thing around my tire right there. Well, I'm going to get on this side. You still see it to, to the right right there. I'll try to put an arrow or something there. When I pipe out, watch what it goes to. It's the hose right here. See how it stays there? I think it's what's doing my frame rate. I'm not for sure. But, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to get my weight, put it back on before I forget it. Um, I'm going to take these two pieces. And I'm going to take them and give them to John. Contract on field 16 finish. Wait, what? Let's go find her. Why right, that truck's set to go? We'll get him in a second. Got uh, Field 16. Uh, 13 potatoes. 15 potatoes. So these are sugar beets then. Uh, potatoes, potatoes. They was going here. Okay, 16's complete. We don't want to finalize that yet. But let's go in here to our, to our uh, stuff here. Do we want to store the rest of these? Where's, did I go to? Oh, yeah, it went too far. All right, potato and sugar beet. Um, we're at root crop. It is the lowest place, folks. Biogas plant is the highest at 189. Man, I wish I knew uh, that biogas plant. We'll get digestate from that. Sorry, folks. We're going back to uh, back to other other direction. Sorry, miss uh, miscommunication with the boss. Probably like I thought you was the boss. All right, we're going to take this guy to BGA. BGA, BGI, BGI, la la la. Oh wait, what what? All right. So he's he's not done. And this is where you get the extra money, folks. The field contract is done, but you can see there a whole load of sugar beets I had, plus whatever's in this guy. Shut that motor off. We're uh, make sure we don't use too much of their diesel. Oh, we're not even full. All right, we'll get to ours here in a second. Let me finish uh, getting these little sugar beets here out of the ground. And then uh, we'll take them to BGA and then they'll help out. We're, we're almost at $1 million, folks. I'll be back in a little bit. It'll be a second for y'all.
All right, folks, here's here's what we got. We got this guy here, and we got this guy here. Um, I want to get the job done fast, so I'm going to go with this guy. And, uh, whoa, 24 mile an hour. Can we use this guy? I'm, I'm going to do it. There's a uh, headland management, I don't know, but GPS, yes. We're going to lease it for 13000 And we're going to get this working on the uh, potatoes. We're going to do ours first. And then we'll... Uh, oh, he's done. Pipe in. Head up. Pull away a little bit. We're going to shut this guy off. So, still can't do finalize this yet because these two tractors and trailers are part of the thing so everything that's in this trailer will disappear along with the equipment so we're going to go to BGA and uh, so we can get this finalized it's supposed to be uh, a little bit higher there let me turn my flashers on there we go Oh, yeah, Dan's done a good job in the potato harvester. I think Chrissy's taking the other load to BGA. I wonder where she's at, because I hate to run into her. Um, no, 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 um, um. Oh, she's a long ways in front of me. Now I look at the animal dealer and spinnery there, and see a little blue dot moving, and that is Christy. All right. See y'all at the BGA. All right, Christy was here back then. And, uh, oh, okay, I can't do that. I know I can't do that. Probably scratch the paint on that dude's trailer. He don't get all fussy fussy with me. And, all right. All right, we got both trailers here, so we're ready to dump. Oh, that's why it's straight up. Price ain't going up. It's going to do it just like it did the sillage. Okay. Well, that's that's okay. Oh. That's done. Good. We're going to park them over here, and that guy's going to come pick them up. And we're going to check on our bales real quick while we're here. Still showing grass. Oh, two hours to go, folks. Two hours to go. All of them that way. Oh, yeah. Now, we're just going to sell what we got here to the BGA. So, uh, it's not quite 3 o'clock yet. I want to show you. Uh, by the way, we got... I can't remember how much we had last time. It was 14, then I think it was 21. Now it's 32 pigs. I'm going to have to feed these guys. The straw's out, so they're making pure slurry now, or should be. But yeah, these guys are really doing their business, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 65 sheep and. We got, oh, we got to feed our chickens. All right, let me move this another way. Be a kind guy like I am. And uh, I'll see y'all uh, at our field with our new machine. Be right back. All right, getting this thing unfolded. Wow. Oh, my goodness. This, this thing is huge. I know this ain't realistic, folks, but hey. Hey, we're, we're... Do not thrash when the crops are too wet. What? Oh, man. We still got the wet symbol. But I... I, I don't understand. I don't understand. It let us get... 
that thing let us get some some uh, stuff out I wasn't missing that was the other one and definitely be Tuesday evening before we can do ours okay that means we're gonna have to take this guy back across the bridge and everything else Just start it get it folded up but is letting us harvest the other ones all right folks I'll be back in a minute all right folks I do not understand um yeah, I get that off somehow. Get that off. That nowhere says it's too wet. They, there you go. You see, I'm getting 60 frames, 58 to 60. But um, watch this. It's thrashing. Let me zoom in, and make sure. Yep. Potatoes going in. You can see them right there going up. Front's cut. And, and everything's working. Uh, that right back there wouldn't. They just say too wet. Crops are, uh, don't thrash when the crops are wet. And I'm missing. Okay, there we go. I should have took this to our spot, but I just want to come over here and help this guy get done. Um, he's more in a hurry to get his crops out than I am, so yeah, I'm just like, uh, sure. Uh, I did get the Speed Express on this one. So we're going 10 mile an hour. Instead of, I think, the six like the other one is. But that's all right. That's all right, because uh, we're going to get this field done, folks. And uh, I, I guess I'll bring you back when I get a little bit closer, because uh, we got a field where we got to do, too. So instead of hogging up a video, I'll bring you back here. About... This is 1455, which is five minutes to three. Um, bring about about 3:30 maybe. See where we're at. Do have a little problem with these guys wanting to quit for some reason. We get out on the end, and I come back, they'll be sitting there. I'm like, what happened? Why you quit for? They'll be out out there a little ways. <sighs> Good help is hard to find, folks. I wonder what Dan's doing. I wonder what Christy's doing. I wonder what all my YouTube buddies and pals and friends and farmers and everybody else that's in the YouTube land's doing. While you're there wondering that question, hit the like button, folks. Share me with your friends while you're at it. It don't cost nothing. Say, hey, check out this dude. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Okay, enough of that. This guy. Uh, did Udden quit? Nope, Udden's over unloading. As you can see over there. Four mile an hour. Five. Okay, he's getting on up there. All right, I'm gonna let him go because he's a little bit faster running than me. Okay, I don't know what his deal is. Oh, but that whistling sound. The helper just left. See, they done it again. They didn't go out the field that time. Turn the lights off. Let's see what's going to happen this time. Please work. I hear a boat. Oh, hey, on 
Oh, oh my god. Are you waiting to be unloaded? Uh, am I close to New York and California? I didn't think so. We're we getting backed up over here on the ships. Hmm. Maybe that's why John said it'd be a couple of days before we get anything in. That's not good. Alright, now let's see what's going to happen. Okay, good. It started right. AI worker, it's working. I need to catch this truck and go unload the other guy. And we need to take a load of these off to see how much of the contract we can... Dude! It, you you could have been uh, harvesting instead of taking one row. Oh. Come on up here. There you go. Come on. Now you can stop. There we go. Uh oh. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, folks. Ah, well we're here. Well, sorry to say, well we're here waiting. Oh, 24 frames per second. That's the end. Y'all see that? 20 now. Oh man. I'm doing a, a uh, kind of looks like it's well, no. from there to over in there, I guess. I don't know. This truck ain't full, but it's got 107,000 liters in it. And uh, while both of them are pretty much empty. Uh, what fuel is that? That is 13, right? Yeah, right. Fuel 13. So fuel 13 is root crops. Fuel 15 is to root crops. So, okay. Um, we're going to get this truck going to root crop. And uh, we're going to go find our gold and get it transported. All right. Some of y'all probably wondering how I do this. First is U and then uh, B, B, and B again to get that little uh, metal looking mush plate deal on that side. And you get about, actually I got the gold on here, I forgot about that. We're going to have to kind of do it like, like this and hope that works. Yes, transport is finished. But the gold don't go there, so what do you do? You hit U to start loading again. And you just back up slowly. There's one, there's two. Now you go over here to transport. Man, my. I gotta figure out what's doing that. 23, 24. Mm. Hit U again. And then. B brings it to that side and you want to come up here hit Y transport finish now y'all see why I like this truck so much it's not really the truck it's just the bed of the truck we're going to shut this off and we're going to go in here we can do bakery and go mine and 16 because it's done uh, and then the bakery and gold mine. So uh, we got 13 and 15 left. 15 shouldn't have had nothing on it. I haven't even touched it. So probably some of the potatoes are going over there. Okay. Um, there's a transport. Gold mine again. We'll take it. And windmill to bakery. Okay. Let's go to windmill, pick up, go to bakery, drop off, and uh, go to gold mine. So, windmill first, the windmill pickup, and then 
start the truck and go. All right, our other truck has, no, this truck has made it up here. This is root crops. Let me get out and show y'all here. Um, this area here is root crops. I don't know. Must be controls on these. Uh, B to turn off. You can turn it off, keep from loading the barge. Turn it back on. 15% transported for fuel 13. Okay. See, wasn't that like 18 or 13%? Now it's 20. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Something's going on there. All right, we got to get this guy back. But I think this is the one that you load, but I don't know what you load. You stand here and uh, you can turn on crane. 2,000 pounds or something. I don't know. We'll have to find out one of these days, but I don't want to load that right now. I want to get back to the to the harvest all right uh, what have I got here um, let's go to 14 that should be right next door to 13 and start all right and see it's out to here I, I don't know look like it comes out to the end and then it cuts a wide turn. Don't know why, but it, it's doing it, so. At least my frame's back up to 60 almost. I want to kind of get in this straight, but. See, I think the other one doesn't stop. Yeah, it has. Oh. Alright, since this guy's faster, I'm going to use him to straighten us up. And then when the truck gets here, we're going to dump on the truck. And then we're going to take this guy to our field and start on our potatoes. Alright, folks. It was taking a little bit. So uh, I lease this and this. And uh, I'm getting taking this here back. So return, yes. Hope that was the right one. And um, since it was taken, so oh, okay, we're gonna pick this up first. Then I guess uh, it's is on this side. We're gonna use this one to do our fields with, and just keep the other two up by uh, 13 and 15 because it's taking a while to get those harvested and let's see go to the head I just unfolded the back I don't want the back unfolded okay at least it's a little, little bit more narrow I can get it down no problem just gotta watch for power lines Okay, folks, I, I've tried this and I don't know. I'm turning it on. I got the header down. I guess because there ain't no tops here to take off. It's not doing no, no potatoes. I'm going to go in here. Make sure. Well, I didn't want to shut that off. Turn the engine back on. I'm going to go in into this part. Beat technology, I go all the way, oh, wait. Okay, yeah. I grabbed the wrong head. I grabbed that head. Man, I bet that head's in here. Yeah, that's why it's not working. Let's see, let's go in here. Yeah, that's it. Oh, man, we're going to lease. Actually, we're going to wait. I'm going to go garage. Uh, yeah, lease items be this. Boy, I feel like a full return to send. 
I don't feel like driving that thing all the way back up there. Uh, now, and we're going to lease it. Yes, yes. All right, oh, hit my desk here. All right, folks, y'all want a longer video or y'all want? <laughs> Be right back. All right, look up at the top right corner real quick. 70% transported for field 13. Folks, 13's finished. We're in 15. All right, our big uh, potato harvester should be to our field almost. And Dan's probably doing some work in it. I don't know what all he's doing, but we are, uh, should be in field 15. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, yeah, folks, I don't know what I'm doing. And the phone going off. Real life. Anyway, uh, let's see, let's put that on that. Let's go to, uh, this. Uh, transport windmill is done gold mine is done and you see 99% for um, the, I can't even talk for field 13 99% but it said we had 70% where I go whoa how am I getting off what happened to the GPS? GPS got off somehow. Back up a little bit here. One, two, probably about right there. That it. Yeah, that's it. Now reset GPS. Lock on and go. Now we're talking. I'm trying to use the fast one to get this side over here done while we're doing that. So, um, yeah, I'm 62%. I'm 37%. So, folks, I will bring y'all back here. When I get this done, we're going to get our big one done, too. In this episode, that way we'll be done with somewhat of the potatoes so be right back all right folks i'm gonna run this and as you can see down there in the bottom right corner 1.8 hours on this thing already and we're almost done uh the other one has been leaving some spots as you can see across there Well, they probably usually do that, uh, but I'm fixing to wipe it out right now, and then we're going to use the other one. We're going to go unload this, and that looks like it. Oh, still a couple. Yep, a couple going across here. All right, I'll raise it up. Everything's all good. We're going to unload this in the truck. Let him get it because there's one set fee lease on that. We reach 1.2. I mean 1.2. 2.0. We will um, be charged for another hour. So I don't want that. Especially when we get the big boy working in the other field. Dan radioed me and said, yes, folks, Dan from 3D Outdoors and 3D Gaming uh, radioed me and said that he was done with that one field. So I said, leave the other for me. Uh, we should be able to make it. As, let me turn my... As you can see, at 2100, it's going to be raining for about an hour or two. Might start before then, but we got three hours. No, wait, no. We're at hour 16, so we got... Oh, hour 17. Oh, it's 17. All right, well, this is... Uh, 
turn that off. Alright. 1.9. We got just in time. We're going to park this right over here. And John said he's going to come and get it for us. So, make sure everything's off. Shut the motor off. All right. So, let's tell John that we're done. Small potato harvester. I got to make sure I get that right. Um, yeah, here, birds. Yeah, I go across this end. And you can see right here we've been leaving a, a few. Probably had to redo that in. Uh, go to garage, go to lease. Wait, we was in lease. We are done with this one here. Return to send. Uh huh, uh huh. So that's what we got lease. We got that. Um, till we get done with our fields, plowing. And we got this. <clears throat> get the potatoes out of our fields and we'll be done with it. Volvo, we're still using it, so. Gonna we'll be using it for a while. All right, let's jump over to the new one. And as you can see, Dan done got all that down through there. A little streaky from our other thing, but hey, we got 107,036 liters. Let's fire this bad boy up. And let's see, headers. Oh, headers already down. Turn it on. Let's go to town. Let's see if we'll get it. Okay, yeah, I figure I'll probably have to turn around and come back and get that corner there because we was going up in the air. Kind of bouncy right in here. All right, I'm going to have to redo the GPS. Oh, God, oh, the fence. Figures. Oh, that's a big wedge payment up there. We're paying Dan and Christy good. All right, reset GPS. And then we're ready to roll. Oh, you see that? Spinning. One of this thing a true six wheel drive. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not going slow, folks. It should go about 11, I think. It's getting on up there. 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, yeah. Oh, this thing flies. 21. Oh, we're not going to go that fast. That's that's too fast. I done run into something by then. All right. Well, folks, there ain't too much left to this. Well, except for seeing the totals. And I think I will bring y'all back in the beginning of the next episode with the totals because I am uh, tired. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just now... Um, storms went through. I recorded an episode earlier today, right before they come through, and then I'm recording this and after they went through, and everything seems to be okay. Whoa! Y'all see that tire spinning backwards? I thought I was off in there. I guess it'd help if I raised the header up. Sorry, John, at the dealership. Let's check out this thing though. It's throwing the potatoes up there and then the augers are traveling over to the center. That's, that's pretty neat. i tell you what. If we do a large field of potatoes again or if the neighbors need the help, we're getting this in first. First thing. Yeah, I see the wings kind of bounce if you go too fast. And it comes up sometimes. So that's why I try to take it slow. Ah, did it again. It's bouncy right in here. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and get this. We almost filled this thing up on this, this, and we got some in the truck and a little bit in that trailer up there. Uh, didn't I think that's where it got ran over. The ruts and stuff. Like this down. Come on, baby. You're going to do it. It's going to be about the longest episode I've made here in a while, folks. Um, let me know if you enjoy the long ones or you want some shorter ones or or, or whatever y'all want. I try to shoot for about 20 to 30 minute long ones. Alright. That should cover it. Yep. All I gotta do is go back up. Whoa. Oh, stop, baby, stop. Still kind of wet right here, too, so. Thought it might be some more there, but it wasn't. But folks, uh, since it's taking longer than what I was wanting, this thing done got some weight on it, don't want to go up this hill. Much less being in the ground trying to go up the hill. But I appreciate all y'all watching. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and stuff. So, um, yeah, I appreciate every one of y'all folks. I, I really, really, really do. Um, I think this should come out Friday, Friday before Halloween. So happy Halloween to all my monsters out there. Halloween is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> Not year, my, my favorite holiday, well, besides Christmas. That's my phone again. All right, make a zag here, Let's see if I can kind of slow it down without but uh I guess that's it folks happy Halloween to y'all and uh come back next time we'll finish wrapping this up I love how fast that hair folds up let's go see inside can't see nothing. <laughs> I guess that's why they uh, put this on the trailers because you really can't see nothing. Yeah, I have a camera on top of it. There goes the helicopter somewhere. Where do you go? There he is. Alright, folks. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And I will get your totals in the next episode. Well, you pretty much know the total. Almost 200. Yeah, probably almost 200,000. I got to get the truck for that trailer right there. And then uh, we'll have this unloaded. This will be tucking back. Because I only want one hour on this bad boy. And, um, yeah. I hope I got a thumbnail. I can't remember if I did or not. But folks, y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And I will see you in the next episode. Later. Oh, phone. Hush. Later, folks. Hello, it's a game. Oh.